Hi, this is Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use our Adobe Captivate drag and drop templates. Let me go ahead and just get this so I can see the full interaction. So I've got the drag and drop opened up. I'm using Adobe Captivate 7. Um, this template is compatible with Adobe Captivate 6 and 7 and potentially the future releases of Adobe Captivate. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to edit the existing labels. Um, this particular interaction has two different types of labels that go to two different drop areas. Um, I'd like to just show you how to, to really customize the labels so that you can have your own content in here. Very simple to do. All you need to do is just double click on the label and type in your information in each one of those. Very simple to do. Same thing with the drop zones, the option areas, just double click on them and put in your own title and your own content in each one of these. Super easy to do that. If you want to take some of the labels away, all you need to do is just delete the ones that you don't want and it will work just fine for you. If you want to add additional, you can simply copy and paste one of the labels. As you do that, um, you'll need to reconnect that so that it knows where to go um, so that the interaction knows which area is the correct place for it to drag. The way to do that is when you have it selected, you're going to go over to your, your drag and drop tab. I like to click on the little show box here so I can actually see where each label is going. Now there's two ways of doing this. Depending on the type of interaction, it might be set up a little different. Either way is fine to do. So the easy way to do is just to grab the little white circle in the middle of the label and just drag the arrow to the appropriate place that you want it to drop. Super simple to do that. Alternatively, what you could do is you could actually pick on this particular interaction, we have two different custom types of drag sources. We have ones that go called Dragger 1 and Dragger 2. Now if I select Dragger 1, this one automatically goes in with the other group of um, labels that go to the drop zone um, one. If I want to go to the other one, you can just select drag it to two, and it'll go to the two with the other ones. Really convenient um, as you're working with different groups. So there's two different ways of uh, connecting that. Um, if you want to actually make your own custom graphic that you want to drop into the area, let's just go ahead and make a little star here. I can go and make a little graphic just like that, a little star. Um, if I want to make this actually connect and be a drag and drop part of the interaction, what I need to do is first indicate that this is a drag source. So using the Adobe Captivate drag and drop feature on the tab here, I can indicate that this is a drag source item, meaning it's going to be draggable. And then the same thing as before, I can either say it's going to go to the draggers number one. I'm just going to show this so we can see where it's going or I can say go to the draggers too. Simple as that, super easy to do this. Um, we drew most of these objects right with inside Captivate. So if you want to change the colors, you can do that. If you want to move things around, super easy to do it right inside the Adobe Captivate interface. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Thanks a lot.